Well, we unloaded their rest of the square bales. So I got to put the baler in the barn. I figure we'll use this 50. get it in because you know what this is gonna be like all right well that little bottom row there that'll get that's what they can feed now but we went nine high I said I could go ten high and I could but I definitely need an elevator so with this baler shifted over a little bit and some clutter cleaned out of that corner, I can snake the round baler into that spot right there, but I'm not going to get a whole lot else in here. I think I can, when that hay is gone, I think I can stick the wrapper right there and the round baler right here which doesn't sound all that exciting, but it gets them in anyway. This has actually lived outside tarped with a sheet metal, a little sheet metal roof over the whole thing. Um, <laughs> worked really good. I don't, I, I just don't like it. Square baler should never be outside, but it was for two years, and my little sheet metal worked pretty good. Kept the water off of it. This does need a good wash. It's never gotten a good wash since I got it. I'll pull it out of here some sunny day and clean it up really good. All right, so I got a couple minutes video for, that you saw before this from the other day. Oh, I've been going to work, and Gina and Maddie are gone to the horse show. It's a weekend here. Been taking care of odds and ends, but I got to fix this because we got to get all the hay hauled home this week. Uh, looks like a few nice days I'll get it done after work, but this is just that. piece of that backup ring came out of there when it popped the holes on a corner with the hay bind. so I mentioned that before not too exciting here the o-ring's actually in pretty good shape but I got new ones we're gonna put them back in there and we won't have drippy well we're hauling bales off a of field B here Put eight on there, five on here, makes for 13. And it just so happens that there's 39 bales here, so. I also have a field that has 13 bales on it, so I'm gonna take two loads from here tonight. Just got home from work. And uh, Tomorrow night we'll take another, take the last load off of here and we'll go get the bale, the load with, the field with 13 on it. And uh, in the next light I got two loads at another place that'll clean that up. Just a little bit under two loads and then I got uh, only one more place after that. Difficult filming with one hand here. Well, I shouldn't 
say the filming's difficult. The driving is somewhat fun. I ever get around to feeding these ones, I don't know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> 